live on a farm. Our house isn't new, except for the kitchen, which has just been altered. All my friends are waiting to see it. Well, there it is, all new and shiny, with plenty of cupboard space. No scratches yet, but I suppose they'll come in time. Yes, an electric stove. I know I'm lucky, but as electricity is available, it may as well be used. The sink is just the right height for me. No bending means less backache. It's too low for my visitor, but as I do most of the washing up, it was tailored to measure. The light over the sink makes washing up at night much less trouble. Don't those saucepans shine? They hang on pegs at the back of the cupboard and are so easy to reach, as well as being handy to the stove and the sink. Even the lids come to hand easily. There's a light over the stove as well, just the thing for dull days and winter nights. The china cupboard is convenient to the sink. The cups are much easier to get at on that shelf of their own. And those shelves will only hold one set of plates, so there's no waste space. There's something else that wasn't in the old kitchen. A lap board. It's just the right height when sitting down to work. Most of the things I want are handy too. When cutting sandwiches, the lunch wraps are in the drawer. And if it's at night, there's a light. Fillings are in the cupboard above. The cake and fruit in the cupboards beside me. You see, everything is to hand. Well, now you've seen my kitchen. But if you'd like to know why it was planned this way, just pop in early one morning. The family likes porridge, so the jug goes on first. I usually start on Betty's lunch while waiting for the jug to boil. That bread bin's very handy. It's really only a biscuit tin painted, but it keeps the bread fresh. A separate place for cutting lunches is one of the things I like best in this kitchen. In the old kitchen, I had the usual table in the centre of the room. By the time breakfast was over, it was literally covered. Another reason for calling this my handy kitchen is that there's no need to walk from place to place for things. There's the saucepan, the spoons in the drawer, salt on the shelf with the tea and coffee. The porridge is in the cupboard with the measuring cups. And that bench is just the right height for that job. Maybe you think it's extravagant having two cutting boards, but they're not expensive, and that one between the stove and the sink is very handy. Meat, vegetables and bread can be cut on it. In fact, it's always in use. And what's more, it can be taken out for scrubbing. I'd recommend that to every homemaker. It makes cleaning so much easier. I tried to plan a time-saving kitchen with a place for everything. Even setting the table is quicker now. The tray under the sink, knives and forks are in one drawer. The tablecloth is in the next one. Betty usually does this job for me.
This sort of thing goes on in every home, new kitchen or not. Arthur was off to town that morning, and I was anxious to make an early start with some cooking for the school fete. You know, Arthur doesn't say much, but I know he's thrilled with the whole thing too. Even washing up isn't so bad in the new kitchen. We couldn't afford a washing up machine, but there's hot water, a double draining board and plenty of bench space. Betty generally dries up for me, and it's really wonderful how quickly she's getting used to putting things away in the proper places. Some knives and spoons at the mixing centre, and others in the drawer by the stove. It really pays in the long run, so it may seem a nuisance at first. Most days the washing up is done before she leaves for school. I've been asked to take some scones and a sandwich for the afternoon tea at the school fete. So now you'll see some more reasons for calling this my handy kitchen. A mixing centre is a wonderful idea. Utensils are kept in the cupboards under the bench. There's paper in the drawer. And the groceries are in the cupboard above the bench. Everything is at the one spot and there's scarcely any need to move at all. Bad for the figure, I suppose, but far less tiring. I saw some diagrams once showing the distance some women walk to cook a meal. My goodness, I won't forget that in a hurry. When we were planning this kitchen, we made sure not to fall into that trap. It's a simple job to clean those lino covered benches. One thing that really delights me is that upright filing arrangement for cake tins. I can see the tin I want at a glance. Beating eggs is another task made easier by having the bench at the right height. Once upon a time, there was no time to go to a school fete or anywhere else for that matter. Now I can go, and I'm not tired out before I start. And when I think back to that old kitchen. Well, is it any wonder I'm thrilled? In short, my dream of a handy kitchen has come true.